So we're having a look together at loci, yeah? And loci are those points fitting a particular description, yeah? Where loci is plural, locus is singular, yeah? Loci, all the points fitting a description. We have done loci from a point, yeah, where we use our compass. Loci from a line, my previous video, where we are uh, constructed parallel lines. And now loci equidistance to two points, and after this video, equidistance to two intersecting lines. My site, explainingmaps.com, has all these videos nicely organized for you, together with all my other resources, so make sure to check it. Okay, equidistance means equal distance, okay? Equal distance, uh, or distance, yeah? So the same distance. Now, let's say I have a point here, A, and I have a point here, B. And I'm interested in all the points equidistant, so the exact same distance to A as to B. Now, let's just quickly measure. Um, each block is one centimeter, so I can just use my finger. One, two, three, four, five, six centimeters. So what is exactly between six centimeters? So what is in the middle? Well, that is, for instance, here. Yeah? So this point is equidistant to A and B. But that's only one point. And loci eh, means all the points fitting that description. All the points equidistant to A and B. Because, for instance, the point here is also equidistant to A and B. Okay? The point here is not equidistant, yeah? because it's clearly closer to B as it is to A. Yeah? So that one is not equidistant. But for instance, over here, again, it's equidistant. You see that? It's the exact same distance. Same over there. So how do I construct those points? Now, this is what you have to do. Hopefully, you already see it. It's a particular line. And how do we call that line? Well, we call that the perpendicular bisector or line bisector. It divides the line into two equal pieces, but you have to be able to construct it. And I've shown you in previous videos how to do that, um, but I want to show you again now very quickly. Yeah? The loci equidistant from two points is the line bisector. You don't have to remember that, it just makes sense. How do you do it? Yeah, six centimeters, I need my compass. The distance is six centimeters, so I open my compass with a radius of half of it, so half of six is three, but then always a little bit more. All right, so let's say four centimeters, yeah? And then I draw those parts of the circle, those arcs above and below my line, I'm trying to bisect, because I don't have to draw the entire circle, from one point, and then I do the same from the other points, above and below the line. I'm looking for those intersecting points, you see that? And knowing that my line bisector is going to be here, again, I don't have to draw the entire circle, I'm not interested on this side or that side of the uh, circle, I'm just interested in the middle. So my perpendicular bisector is the line connecting those points of intersection, uh, like this, over there, 90 degrees, dividing the line to two equal pieces. All the points on this line bisector, all the points on this perpendicular bisector are equidistant to A and to B. Yeah? Over here, it's going to be the same length to B as it is to A. Okay, so um, the line bisector, fantastic. Like and share if this was useful, guys, so I can help your friends. And check my site, explainingmaths.com, uh, for all my resources. Okay, I wish you a very pleasant day. Oh, there's one more video I'm going to show you now afterwards. That's equidistance to two intersecting lines. Well, what kind of, a, what, how are we going to construct those loci? You think about that, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.